and I shall tell you about it while speaking in a very clear manner. Now, I believe there has been a conversation somewhere on the internet where it was suggested that Byron Sarau, who used to work here, or does work here from time to time, he freelances for us, uh, should be teaching me a little bit about pronunciation. I, of course, on the back end of that conversation, will probably uh, resign and possibly end my life at the end of this drive because, well, that is just not terrifying, terrifying. There is a gorgeous grey heron and it is very stealthily walking through water that I'm sure must be giving it slightly achy uh, ankles, very cold and perhaps hoping to catch itself a frog or a fish. I just love the stealth with which they're able to move. I think it is quite phenomenal. And you can see there's almost no wave caused by the movement of those legs. Very sensitive feet that will pick up the slightest movement in the mud underneath. Natal Franklin shouting at us in the background, or Spurfowl as they're now called, of course, and have been called for some 10 years or so. We still refer to those as the new names for some reason. Gosh, that must be cold. Just managing to keep its tail feathers out of the water. It seems to be stealthily feeling something, and all the time, its feet are moving underneath the ground, just touching the mud here and there, gently feeling out what's going to move. And you can see there's definitely quite a lot of activity, either just below the surface or on the surface of the water. And it is yet another beautiful, perfect morning here. It is a little bit chilly, like I say, but it's still very pleasant to be out, especially when we're not moving too fast. And the great advantage of sitting like this, watching a beautiful bird, is that, of course, we do get to hear if those lions call again. They called late into the morning yesterday, all the way up to 8 o'clock. And today, there doesn't seem to be quite the same enthusiasm. Anyway, the mysteries of the night will be unravelled by our reading of the Bush newspaper, as the cliché goes, which is the, of course, the road in front of us, and also by the movement of the other guides and other vehicles around the place who will pick up tracks and eventually perhaps some of the animals. I believe that Tristan Dix has checked the hyena den. There are no hyenas there. And at the moment... <laughs> and I think that he's got some tracks. <laughs> 